we've had a request to making a model from an impression. So I'm going to be using this as a demonstration for other people to learn as well. Now, the impression is very dense. So in edit mode, we can see that the vertices are very, very dense and actually the surface is quite irregular shaped whereas then the, the, the base of it is very sparse. The vertexes are very far apart. So I don't know how this was created, but I always like to examine the meshes before we even start. The other thing that I've noticed, it's got like a sh shimmering effect, which tells me that maybe there are other objects inside of this object. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on separate and just see what happens. All right, so there's no other objects as far as I can see over here, but the density is too dense for my liking. So what I'm going to do is we're going to reduce the, the model file. As it was, it was like 2 million vertices or something. Um, maybe a bit less, 1 million 300,000, but 2.5 million faces. So we, we can reduce this. This is more workable, 600,000 vertices for the entire object. So what we're going to do is we're going to set down our arch cutting tool just around about there. And then we're going to make a line. Click on extrude and then place it exactly on the inside. And we're going to follow that. Fuse it. Click on Trim, select the mesh we'd like to keep, and clean. All right, so here we've got our scan, basically. Note that this is now inside out, so face orientation, because this was the inside. So we're going to flip the normals. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is the target and I'm going to place a few points P and then Shift D like that and align. Perfect. Let's see where this model is. So that's in the center and we're going to extrude this into a base upper base. But before I do that, notice, I've noticed, this is why it's good to have your outliner window open. When, when this was cut, we've got a few objects in it. So if I hide the scan, we've got a few vertices around the show. So in edit mode, you can see here's a little piece and then we've got another little piece somewhere else. There we've got another piece. So it's always important to make sure that you don't include these pieces, these vertices inside of your model. So I'm going to delete these. And this is the one that we'd like to keep. And then we're going to click on upper base. So this took a little bit of time simply because there are still quite a few vertices. So in edit mode, we can see we've got all these patches. So I don't know how this was created or how these patches have even come into existence. Maybe it was sculpted or something. I don't know, it comes from a different software. 
So anyway, we've got the model. If, if we wanted to hollow it, we can hollow it. But this is basically it. Okay, thanks for watching.